all right what's going on everybody welcome back okay welcome back thank you for clicking on the video thank you for tuning in and greetings to all of you in the name of jesus christ back again all right this is your boy your main man sean pettiford and i appreciate you all for joining me in this video let's get right to it all right we have black china who is uh, has received her doctorate degree from california bible college now if you've been keeping up with the news she has completely uh turned away from her old life on the website that i will not name here but she has turned away from that and now she has given her life to christ been baptized and is trying to transform transform her life and become a and, and take on a new identity and become a new person and start living for god now this is truly a blessing and i hope that it's sincere and I hope that it's not a gimmick or anything like that, because we need people in the secular community uh, to show an example to those people out there that you can turn your life around. You can give your life to Christ. Um, it's not too late, though time is running out. You can uh, begin this journey today. You can start right now and give your life to Jesus Christ. So I thank God for this. Um, she has really opened up the door for a lot of people that follow her to see her in a different light, to see her live a different life and uh, has displayed that you don't have to continue in sin. You don't have to remain uh, a, 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 a sinner, but you can turn your life around. So what a blessing. And I'm hoping that people who follow her, people who have uh seen her over the years see this transformation as a positive thing and as a blessing and will say you know what i want to turn my life around too i want to give my life to god i want to get out of this sinful life that i'm living it's not leading me anywhere uh she was talking about spirits that were on her and and and, and demonic things and and she removed the tattoo that was on her body so we want to take this stuff serious you all let's check out the article I'm going to pull it up. Uh, Black China receives doctorate degree from California Bible College. Now, a lot of people are trying to say, uh, trying to discount her. And I'm not going to discount her right off of the back. OK, I, let me give her the benefit of the doubt. Let us give her the benefit of the doubt in this Christian community. We're supposed to be about forgiveness, second chances, third chances, fourth chances, all the way up to what? We're supposed to forgive 77 times seven. All right. Now, if we look in the Bible, we saw that Saul was persecuting Christians, living a evil life, but his life was turned around and look at all of the work that he did for the kingdom of God. So let's not be so quick to judge let her work out her salvation. God is clearly doing a work in her. And whether she received this uh, doctorate by uh, actually going through and doing all the necessary studying or whether this was an honorary doctorate, who cares? OK, the simple point is that she gave her life to Christ. She was baptized. And now we're praying God will allow the Holy Spirit to the Holy Ghost to work in her life, to to to, to transform her and to keep her stepping back from backsliding and going back into those old ways those old things all right black china receives doctor degree from california bible college i think i might need to check that out i want to get educated all right i want to learn a little bit about the bible right on monday the celebrity who uh now goes by her real name angel white beautiful name right shared on instagram that she received the degree back in january January 17, 2023, I got my Doctorate of Liberal Arts from Sacramento Theological Seminary and Bible College, Dr. Angela Renee White. All right. <clears throat> very good. Very good. Very good. No hate. No hate here. Only love, right? The love of Jesus Christ. Uh, White decided to shut down her account and reverse some of her surgical proce procedures after becoming a Christian. Thank God. Okay, I got baptized on 5 11 22. I was watching the video again and wanted to show you this because if you look closely at my mouth, you can hear the spirits leave my body. God is good. 
right? I'm kind of past that, she said. It's one of those things where I did what I needed to do at that moment because the circumstance, circumstances I was in, excuse me, can't read. Besides, with me being baptized, that's just not what God would want me to do. It's kind of degrading, right? She's moving on from posting um, those videos she used to post. Honestly, for me, I was like, this is too much. It's time for a change. This is not really who I am. Something just came over me like the Holy Spirit came over me. And I was like, you know what? I need to figure out about what's my purpose in life. Like why I am here. When I got baptized, I knew that God told me you do not need to be doing that anymore. This is not what I put you. Uh, this is not why I put you here to degrade yourself because of our bodies. Because our bodies are a temple. She concluded yes we truly are the temple of god yes we are and we have to treat it with respect and treat it um with reverence okay this body will hold house the spirit of god so we have to treat it in that way right we wouldn't go into the temple of God and disrespect it, leave trash everywhere. The physical, like, like an actual, let's say like ch a church or a temple back in the day. We wouldn't go there and disrespect that temple and mess it up or paint graffiti, leave trash or just do whatever. Right. We would go in there with some reverence, respect for God's holy place. Right. Uh, where the spirit of God dwells. So that's how we have to treat our own bodies. The temple of God. Where, hit, where the Holy Spirit dwells. Okay, so that's wonderful what she said, that she didn't want to degrade herself anymore, but she wanted to treat her body as a temple. What do you all think, huh? What do you all think? You think it's sincere? You think it's not? Are you going to reserve judgment and let time reveal what's going on here? I pray Again, that anybody who was following her, that you choose to follow in her footsteps and surrender your life to Christ and realizing that there's nothing in this world that will satisfy you. You know, uh, she said she felt like it was demons leaving her body. OK, and this is so true. You know, time and time again, we hear about things like the Illuminati, things like secret societies. But these things, I believe are real and they are true and they are really happening behind closed doors where people are giving up their soul and, and giving up their life and uh to, to to receive fame and fortune and riches right and these things really happen behind closed doors but out in the open we can profess our faith and we can profess that jesus is lord and we can give our life to him and we can surrender our life completely to him and we can also receive a reward a treasure laid up in heaven right it won't be it won't necessarily lead you to riches look what she had to give up okay you're going to have to give up some things in this life in order to give your life to jesus christ Okay, you're going to have to give up that old name. She gave up that old name. You're going to have to give up that old lifestyle. You're going to have to give up money. You're going to have to give up things. The, the, the material things that we hold on to in this life, they mean absolutely nothing. And I'm so grateful that she came to the realization before it was too late because many celebrities, especially in Hollywood, and some people call it Hollyweird, uh, but before they are able to find uh, Jesus Christ, before they're able to figure out what their purpose is, they perish. And a lot of people perish in their sin. And it's such a tragedy because God has given us the opportunity every time we wake up, open our eyes and, and breathe in air, breathe in oxygen. We have another opportunity to surrender our life to him. And he's 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 beckoning with us. He's 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 saying, I'm at the door. I stand here and knock. Right. Open up the door. Let me in. 
And so many times we just push them away. We, we ignore the voice. She didn't do that. So congratulations to uh, Angel White, formerly known as Black China. Um, name has been slashed. OK, taking away her old name. Now she is Dr. Angela Renee White has given her life to Christ. And we are happy as a Christian community. Uh, if nobody else says it, I'll say it. And I know I don't mean anything really, but I just pray that you, Mrs. White, continue on this uh, path, on this journey, that you continue with God, that you abide in him because he will abide in you, that you stay on this Christian walk, this Christian journey. And that you continue to forsake your old life, turn away from those things and continue to walk with God, because there's nothing greater than walking with God, finding your purpose, which is to serve him completely, wholeheartedly. OK, there is a treasure. There is a, 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 a reward for us, for those who give their life to Christ. And we know that it's eternal life. OK, John 316. Go check it out. Go read it. God loved us so much and he wants us to have eternal life. So look, everybody, <clears throat> um, you know, we always checking out headlines, but this is actually something positive. OK, again, all the followers out there take this example. Uh, uh, the demonic world is real. Um, the spirits out there are, are real. They can get attached and get on you and get in you and mess up your life. OK, but once you surrender your life to God, he will put you on the straight path, on the narrow path. And you'll enter into the narrow gate. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just just go look for those scriptures. OK, search the scriptures. OK, God can still be found today. So happy that Miss Angel, Miss White, Miss Angela, Dr. Angela White has found Christ. And I hope that you find him too so that's the end of this video all the social media are listed up in the banner you can check me out wherever you like to hang out at i appreciate you all and i'll see you in the next video all right peace